Hi everyone, this is an update on my interferon treatments. This is September 9th, 2010. Um, this is uh, video 32 and I've made it through week 31 so far. Um, my side effects are uh, still the same. I'm experiencing them each and every day now. Um, I'm having to take the ibuprofen uh, each and every day uh, two times a day at least and uh, I'm also feeling like the uh, life is just literally being sucked right out of me um, I've talked to some people and they experience a lot of pain in the back of their necks or even down into their back well I have been experiencing quite a uh, excruciating pain down my uh, back of my neck and last night I even had a rough night sleeping with a new uh, sleep medication um, with a severe back pains I just kept rolling tossing and turning so um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm on the down stretch of my uh, treatment but it, it's getting a little tougher for me to handle um, but I am a fighter I will stand up and uh, face whatever uh, dragon uh, stares me in my eyes so to speak I will I will get through this I know I will I just like to share with you about uh, our medications the ribavirin uh, pill form and also the uh, injection the interferon um, my understanding that it is very important that we uh, take our medications around the uh, same time each and every day and not to uh, lapse in any of the medications due to the fact that we would be allowing the virus to have those peaks and valleys and give it a chance to reactivate, uh, multiply, uh, start uh, you know damaging our deliver our liver. So it's very important that you know we do take the medications around the same time each and every day. Um, I've been on this treatment for uh, 31 weeks now and I have to admit I did forget to take my ribavirin uh, twice and it was usually both well actually both times was on a Friday evening um, so it was only one dose that I would miss that day uh, and I've done that twice now but uh, I'm, I'm keeping real uh, being real cautious about that especially what after my new doctor explained to me about the peaks and valleys so you know other than that you know I, I, I'm I'm still here I'm not dead uh, I do feel like I'm losing more weight uh, I'm not eating as well as I have in the beginning of the treatment uh, I'm not drinking uh, as much water as I was at the, in the beginning of the treatment um, it, for me it's really hard to discipline myself in that that area because if I just don't feel like it I just don't feel like it um, but you know I'm still hanging in there I'm still positive uh, I'm not suicidal or depressed in any way um, I know that's a very very concern uh, for this medication uh, there's been reports of people being very depressed and uh, very sick over this but um, no, I just stay in contact with friends. Uh, I share all my feelings with uh, my loved one, my wife here at home. Uh, so I think that helps a lot just by talking about certain things or even whining about those moments where you're not feeling good. Just kind of let it out um, and just kind of uh, stay positive, you know, and discuss this with other people. It really it helps me a lot. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot to report this week other than, you know, I'm very, very exhausted. I don't feel good. Um, it's not the worst that's ever happened to me in my life. So, you know, I got what, uh, tomorrow after my injection tomorrow night, I will have 17 more to go. I think 17 more to go. So, you know, and uh, I go see my doctor the first of next month. Uh, she'll go over my blood work with me and let me know what's going on there. I do know that she had uh, 
wants me to be off of my Synthroid, which the uh, interferon was attacking my thyroid. Uh, my first doctor had prescribed me some Synthroid, and it seemed to help uh, there, but uh, I'm not sure what's going on now, why my new doctor wants me completely off of it. I, uh, she did mention something about it is overworking now. So uh, I am just on Synthroid every other day for two weeks and then I'll completely quit it instead of each and every day. Um, anyway, I, I want to thank everyone for all their support, all their hope and love. Um, please keep the uh, emails coming, the questions coming, um, you know, the kind words. I really appreciate that. Uh, just seems like I'm getting more and more tired now, so I'm doing my best to reply and um, to listen to what you have to say as well. So anyway, everyone have a great weekend. Um, you know, one other thing, my, my blood work, um, she did explain to me over the phone, just my hemoglobin and my white blood count is still at the bottom line. So... You know, as long as it don't go down any further, I'll be okay. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I have a lot of hope. So, anyway, uh, you guys have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll be able to do another update on my interferon treatments next Thursday. And hopefully I'm feeling better. But uh, God bless you all. I love you all. Um, my wife's birthday yesterday. Happy late birthday. I love you so much. And everyone have a great weekend. Bye-bye.